Hello Shotcut users, this is Brian. Today I'm going to show you how to use the timer filter in Shotcut. The timer filter is new in version 1809.13. So today I have a little video and it's a video of some uh, cars racing around a track and I would like my video to show the time of the cars as they go around and to um, count uh, who is the winner. So timer can filter can help me to do this so if you uh, open up your filters and you scroll through here you can find timer and so I'm gonna add a timer filter and that starts out kinda big so I think I'll move him down to the bottom left you can also use the uh, controls and handles on the screen um, and since I've got two cars I think I'll do two timers so this first one here uh, will be for the red car I'll make that red and then let's add another timer and let's make that one be for the blue car let's move him to the bottom right and make it blue there we go all right so we got two timers we got two cars uh let me show you some of the features of this timer filter um one of the features is that you can specify the format so for example uh you can show it as hours minutes and seconds hours, minutes, seconds, and sub-seconds, uh, just minutes and seconds, just seconds, or uh, minutes and sub-seconds with different precision. I'm going to use the one with the highest precision uh, for my video here. The other thing you can do is you can specify whether the timer counts up or counts down. So you can see right now they're both counting up, uh, but if I change this one to count down, now you'll see that the red one's counting up while the blue one is counting down. But for my video, I want them both to count up. Um, and then here you can specify the start and the duration for the timer. The start is the time on the clip when the timer will start going up. So by default, it starts going up with the very first frame, see? Um, but perhaps you don't want it to start counting right away, so you could have it... Uh, you could set it to start, uh, you know, maybe like one second in. And so now you can see when I start to advance the timer, the blue one's staying at zero. Why is it staying at zero? Well, because it doesn't start until one second. So I let it play a little bit. There it started. See, it's exactly one second behind the red one. Um, so that's one way to set the start. Um, and then the duration works very similarly. You specify how long you want the timer to run. Um, but there's some conveniences here. Um, you can use this button right here uh, to set it to the current frame. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's, uh, let's get these cars up to the starting line. And then we'll uh, specify the start times for our timers. So we see them come around the corner here. And I'm going to have it start as soon as I see a video frame where it has crossed the starting line. So I would say here, the red one has crossed. So I'm going to click on my red timer. And I'm going to click this button to set the start to that position. See, now the red timer is at zero. The blue one hasn't crossed yet. I need to go a little bit farther there. So now the blue one is crossed on this frame. So I'm going to go to the blue timer. And I'm going to set him to start there. Now we will let our cars run around the track a little bit. And now I need to find the frames where they end. And it looks like in this frame the red car has not crossed. And in this frame it has. So I'm going to go to my red timer. And I can click this button to set the end to the current position. So I'm going to say that this is the end for the red timer. The blue car is still coming. Let's let him finish. Has he crossed yet? I would say no, yes. Okay, now he's crossed. So I will use this button to set the duration for the blue car. And so you can see right here by looking at the timers, you can see who won. Um, but let's see it all uh, put together in motion here. So um, they're coming up to the starting line. Timer start. They cross the line. And the timers have finished. And you can see that the red uh, car beat the blue car. So that is uh, the timer filter, and uh, I hope that you can find it uh, useful in some of your videos.